Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. On this channel, I teach problems related to class 10th insert math. In today's video, let us solve question number 5 from exercise 5.1, chapter 5, areas related to surface. In my previous videos, I have completed question number 1 to 4 and example problem from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. Also, I have completed all the other important chapter videos such as arithmetic progression, triangles, pair of linear equations, quadratic equations, coordinate geometry, real numbers, trigonometry and chapter circles. Again, link for all this is provided in the description box below. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel so that you will be updated with all the upcoming videos on my channel. Now quickly let us begin with the video. Question number 4 from exercise 5.1, chapter 5 areas related to circle says, The wheels of a car are of diameter 8 cm each. How many complete revolutions does each wheel make in 10 minutes? when the car is traveling at a speed of 66 kilometers per hour. So here, first of all, let us understand the question. So they have given us a car and the wheel of the car has a diameter of 80 centimeters each. So how many complete revolutions does each wheel make? So we have to find out the number of revolution wheel makes. That is, so for example, let us consider this as the wheel of the car whose diameter is given as 80 centimeter. So we have to find out how many revolutions, revolutions means how many times this wheel rotates to move on a road at a speed of 66 kilometers in 10 minutes of time. Okay, so that is what we have to find out. So to find out number of revolutions made by a wheel or any circular object, there is a formula to find out. So let us first see what is the formula to find out number of revolutions. Okay, so let me write down the formula here. Number of revolutions is given by total distance divided by distance covered in one revolution. So basically this is the formula that is to find out the number of revolutions made by a wheel or any circular object, we have to divide total distance covered by this wheel by distance covered in one revolution. Okay, so what is the distance covered in one revolution mean? So for example, if you start from this point, what is the distance covered to reach back to this point again? So that is nothing but the distance or the length of circle. Right? What is the length of the circle? The length of the circle is the circumference of the circle. So circumference of the circle basically gives the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution. Okay? So this you have to remember it is very much important. Distance covered in one revolution is nothing but the circumference of the circle. We already know what is the circumference of a circle given by the formula. Circumference of a circle is given by 2 pi r where by knowing the radius, we can calculate the circumference, where pi value, we already know it is 22 divided by 7. Okay, so since here diameter is given, we can calculate radius easily. The second important thing that we have to find out is total distance. To find out the distance, they have given us the speed covered and the time in the question. So this distance, speed and time are interrelated, right? Because we have a formula time is equal to distance by speed. So using this formula or relationship, we can easily find out distance. So basically, distance is equal to time into speed. So this is how we can find out number of revolutions. So let us write down what is given in the question first. Okay, so they have given us diameter of the wheel that is equal to 80 centimeters. So, so since diameter is given, radius can be found out easily. So radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So that will be 80 divided by 2. That will be equal to 40 centimeters. So this will be the radius of the wheel. Also I told you the distance covered in one revolution is nothing but the circumference of the wheel. So you can write down distance covered in one revolution by the car wheel will be equal to circumference of the wheel. Right, so circumference of a wheel or a circular object is given by 2 pi r. 
that is 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the wheel. So let us substitute the r value to find out the circumference of the wheel. 2 into pi into radius is 40 centimeter. So that will be 40 into 2 is 80 pi centimeter, right? So this is the distance covered in one revolution. So let us take this formula which we had written initially as equation number 1 and let this be now equation number 2. Now we will calculate the total distance, okay? So we can write down, we know that distance is equal to speed into time. So what is the speed? Speed is given here as 66 kilometer per hour and time is given as 10 minutes. So always make sure in this distance, speed and time problems, the values given should be of same unit. Okay, here speed is given in kilometers per hour, whereas time is given in minutes. So always we should make sure that both the given values should be of same unit. So we will convert this minutes into hour. So to convert minutes into hour, always whenever we are con converting a unit from smaller unit to higher unit, we have to divide. So whenever you're converting any unit from the smaller value to higher value, we have to divide. Okay, so here smaller value is minutes we are converting to R, right? So we will divide. Whenever you're converting R to minutes from a higher value to smaller value, then you have to multiply. Okay, so if you remember this, it will be easier for you in conversion from minutes to hour or hours to minutes or from centimeter to meter or meter to kilometer. So you have to remember this whenever you're converting a smaller unit to higher unit, you have to divide. And whenever you convert higher unit to smaller unit, higher to smaller, you have to multiply. Okay, so in this manner, it will be easier for you in conversion part. Okay, so now we are converting 10 minutes in terms of R. We know that 1 R is equal to 60 minutes, right? So we have to find out how many hours will be 10 minutes. Okay, so we will divide. So here we will divide 10 by 60. So that will be how much? 0, 0 will cancel and we will get 1 by 6 R. So 10 minutes will be equal to 1 by 6 R. So this is our time duration. So now let us find out the distance by multiplying speed into time. So distance is equal to speed is 66 kilometer into R and the time is 1 by 6 of the R. So cancelling 6 1 times, 6 11 times. So this will be 11 kilometer. So this is our total distance. So let, so here again we got distance as 11 kilometers and the distance covered in one, one revolution is 80 pi centimeters. Okay. So again, here we have different units that is centimeter and kilometer. So again, we will convert this kilometers into centimeters. Okay. So we are converting from higher unit to a lower unit. So in this case, we are going to multiply. Okay. So here, how much is one kilometer? One kilometer is equal to thousand meters. And 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So to convert from kilometer to centimeter, we will multiply by 1000 into 100. Okay, so let us multiply 11 into 1000 into 100. So that will be how much? 11 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. So will be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is our distance in centimeter. Okay, now both the units are same. Now let us take this as equation number 3. Now substitute this equation 2 and 3 in our formula that is equation number 1 to find out number of revolutions. Okay, so you can write down here substitute 2 and 3 in 1. So number of revolutions is equal to total distance. Total distance is 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, five zeros divided by 80 pi. Okay, so 80 into 22 divided by 7. Pi value is always we have to take 22 divided by 7. So when we reciprocate, this 7 goes in the numerator. Okay, so this will become 11 
five zeros into seven divided by eighty into twenty two. So now we will now let us see how do we cancel. So we can cancel one zero from the numerator and denominator. So here we can cancel eleven one times eleven two times twenty two. So four zeros will come here. Then two ones are two, two fives are ten, and three zeros. Okay. Then eight ones are eight, eight six are forty eight. Two remainder eight twos are sixteen. Four remainder eight fives are forty five. Okay. Now sixty six twenty five into seven. So six twenty five into seven will be equal to five sevens are thirty five. Seven twos are fourteen plus three. Seventeen carry one. Seven six the forty two plus one forty three. So they are going to be four thousand three seventy five revolutions made by each wheel in ten minutes when the car is traveling at a speed of sixty six kilometers per hour. So therefore, you can write down the number of revolutions made by each wheel. Is equal to four thousand three seventy. Okay, so this is very easy problem. So hopefully you have understood the question. So here you have remember the number of revolution formula, which is very much important. And again, distance covered in when one revolution by a wheel or any circular objects will be enough, will be its circumference. And then you should calculate the total distance and substitute the values in the formula to find out number of revolutions. If you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number five from the same exercise. Also, do watch the related videos of chapter five area related to circles shown on the screen. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.